Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Take It's your boy Loki, and today we're gonna check out the Philips Hue Starter Kit. This is the free bar with the bridge, and I picked up the E27 sockets because that's what I'm currently using in my house. But yeah, you can pick this up with the B22 as well, as well as the GU10. But these one retails for around 130 to 150, depending on which starter kit you get. You can get one with a dimming switch or without a dimming switch. But I've got one without the dimming switch. And this is the color and white ambience, but you can get a white only as well. But of course you want to get some RGB colors, so I picked this one up here, guys. So yeah, let's open this up. This will work with Apple and HomeKit, so that's very nice. So get the scissor. And let's open this up. So inside you can see I've got the three bulbs as well as the bridge. The bridges will be important as well as gonna enable you to connect up all the devices. I think there's around 50 bulbs. You can connect with one bridge, so that is very nice. So you can the bridge is really tiny. This just goes directly to power and connects to your internet using Ethernet port. But yeah, just some signing and coding to get everything started up. We've got a user guide less instruction, but we're not gonna read through that. Let's pull that to the side and let's have it just look at one of the bulbs. So this is one of the bulbs as you can see guys. And it's a standard Philips Hue and you can see it's a hue white and color ambient. So you know you can change all the colors as well as your white ambient light, which is nice. Put it back in and let's see what we get inside. So inside we've got another hole up here and inside we've got a tiny Ethernet cable to connect it up. We get a small brick, just that little brick thing here, and we get two adaptions. So if you're in the EU, you want to use your EU pin. If you're in the UK, you use UK pin. So I'm in the EU, I'm going to use this pin here. So this should just slide up here, and that's it. And there's nothing on the of the box, guys, as you can see. I'm going to take the Ethernet because I need that. So the box itself is very simple guys. What I'm gonna do now, we're gonna connect this up first and take it on from there guys, yeah? Okay guys, I got a Google Wi-Fi here so I'm gonna be using this one here because all my other ones are can be used. So the, Google, the Philips hub here. So first connect your ethernet and then you just wanna connect your power. It's gonna be lighting up here. I'm not sure how well you can see this. So we've got a power light, let's just wait for it to get a connection and it's got a connection it's up and running now. So let's, oh, the lights are gone now, let's just wait. So while this is loading up, I'm gonna get my phone and open up and download the Philips Hue app. So right now it's saying no bridge found. So I'm just gonna try again. Gonna wait for this to search, and you can see it's fine. So I'm gonna hit connect. It's telling me to push the button here. So and I'm just gonna hit access. And we're gonna agree to this. Gonna enable. Oh, it needs update as you can see, guys. So we're gonna let this update quickly. As you can see the update is done now so I'm gonna hit done and it's just enabling HomeKit and Siri and it's searching for my it's trying to search for it but it's Apple HomeKit I'm gonna do that later so we've got no rooms so I can create rooms so let's do that Um, it's found four of the bulbs, so those one that came with me. So let's just go one dining room. Hit save. So now the lights are done and they're all connected up. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to 
insert the lights to the lamp and see how it goes. Okay guys, the light's now set up and it's all connected, so I can turn it off and on, as you can see. It's work nice, I can click on it and I can do it individually. And if I want to change the color or anything, I can just click on it one. I've got my white balanced and I've got my color, so if I want to add a color, I can do that, which is really nice. So I just move this over there and it changes color. I can go back, click on the next one, I can do the same here. Change color to have to hold this and you can see the colors are changing. Background which is really nice. But that's very simple. So what I'm gonna do now guys, I'm gonna connect this up to my Google and see if that works. Okay now we're gonna go to the Google and then go to setup and you wanna because this one has some things already set up. I'm gonna click on that and then we wanna search for the Philips app. So let me do that. see the Philips will show up here at the top and we want to click on that and we need to s sign in I think so um, let me do that quickly so as you can see guys 